Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this green, super sparkly, smoky eye. I posted this look on my Instagram not too long ago and I really liked it, so I wanted to film it. I just feel like it's a really good, like, fall, winter kind of look. It's very deep and sultry, but could also be like a holiday look because it's green and sparkly. But anyway, I really like this look, so I decided to film it for you guys today. I am gonna be using some new products. So one of the main ones is this Gigantor Kat Von D palette, metal matte palette. Uh, this is a huge palette with a ton of different eyeshadows in here. I can't even fit it in the frame. This is a really nice palette. It has a lot of good colors in here. Some colors I wouldn't expect to wear, like the two that I'm wearing right now, honestly, are not two that I would normally reach for. Velvet, silk, and I'm also wearing stone. So I'm gonna be using this, but the green shade I'm wearing is not from this palette. This is, it's like a liquid cream. I feel like it's a really good holiday look. Very smoky, very sultry, very, this. Let's go ahead and get started. To start, I'm gonna prep my eyes with the MAC 24 hour extend eye base. Bring it way out, way out. Now I'm gonna set my primer. I'm just gonna use a shade that's in this gigantic palette. I can't even fit it in the screen. This is the metal matte palette from Kat Von D. And I'll just use a little bit of suede and bone. It's kind of like my skin tone, those two mixed together. Let me just throw this in here real quick. I like to really set um, in the crease because if I don't, I'll have like the really jumpy eyeshadow, you know? So it's like where I really focus it. Okay, now for the transition color, the first shade I'm gonna add onto the eye. I wanted to do something like smoky, but more of like a dusty purple cranberry tone. So I used a few different shades in here. I'm gonna start with stone, which is just this like concrete, stone shade <laughs> what was that and i'm gonna use a mac 217 so when i did this look and posted it on the gram it was pretty dramatic it was like really really heavy i'm gonna do it a little bit softer today so that way maybe it's a little bit more wearable but it was pretty heavy on the smoke And now I'm gonna go in with the velvet color and another blending brush. This is the uh, Zoeva 227. And I'm just gonna buff all of it out. Now using that same brush that I used for velvet, I'm gonna use silk and just kind of buff it even more so that way it blends into the upper, the upper area, the upper echelon. All right, now, which is the fun part, it's my favorite part of this look, I'm gonna use uh, the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow. This is in the color Zodiac, which is the green. It's an interesting eyeshadow formula, but it's really, really cool. I really like it because a lot of times when you use eyeshadows, the reflects don't really pop. Like in regular, like foiled shadows or any type of shadows, a lot of the times the reflects don't really stand out. But in this one, because it's a liquid, they really stand out. It's like an emerald green color, but then when you shine light on it, there's a little bit of silver, a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue, really, really pretty. The applicator is a little bit smaller than, or it's just different, I guess, than what I would anticipate, but I do like this color. So this is the Zodiac shade. I'm going to add this to the center of my lid and then pat it around using my ring finger just to kind of spread it out uh, a little bit more evenly. See, you see what I'm talking about? Woo! This stuff is so bomb and it dries pretty like quickly. Um, so I just pat the center of the lid with like the most product and then I just really lightly pat like see how there's a little bit of glitter going up in the crease just that way it kind of like blends out uh, semi gradually. I just love this color and I feel like it looks even cooler if you put it on top of like a gray or a black shadow. That's why I put the stone color all over the lid. Next is just a little bit of black liner. A little black line. LBL. LBO. And just, you know, put on my lashes, put your falsies on, lashes are on. And you know, I like to do my foundation before I finish the eyes. So I have been shopping for new foundations. I just got a sample of Estee Lauder Double Wear, although it's like the wrong shade. It's 3W1, I think, um, and it's too dark. So I need to get another color 
Any foundation recommendations you guys have, please let me know. I'm looking for medium to full coverage. But I'm gonna be using my Matte and Poreless absolute favorite foundation. I know I'm obsessed with it. I'm using shade number 128. And as you can tell, I need to match a little bit more to my neck right now. So I mixed in a few drops of my Armani Luminous Silk. This is number six, just to make it a little bit more tan. Getting my hair done tomorrow. We're adding lots of brown. I can't do this anymore, you know? If I could just have all solid blonde hair without having to bleach it and not have roots anymore, I would do it, but it's not really in the cards for me right now. To highlight, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, one of my favorite concealers in the shade Light Medium. Setting my under eyes using my RCMA. This is the original No Color Powder. I love this stuff for setting my under eye. I don't use a lot, I don't do the heavy bake. It looks like a mess on me. All right, so for highlight today, I kind of want to try something different. I got the new Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. This is shade number one, kind of like a pink, iridescent pink highlighter. Definitely pink. But I was feeling a little crazy. I picked up ColourPop Honeymoon, which this is like the blue. Oh, this one's a little too chunky for me, I think. Cool color, but it's like kind of more like chunky, iridescent than what I'm going for right now. My pores are a little more clogged than normal right now, so I kind of want to avoid anything more chunky. And then there's also this one from MAC. This is Soft Frost, one of their new skin dimensions, extra dimension skin finish. Ooh, that's like too much for what I got going on right now, huh? I'm gonna go with the Makeup Forever one. You know how sometimes if you use like a tinted highlighter, it'll put like almost a, a cast, like a stripe on your cheek. That's if I were to keep going, it would definitely happen. Should I use my Milani? I think so. I think it's time for Luminoso. Do you guys remember when I used to wear this like every single day? I found it when I was cleaning out my makeup and I was like, ooh, let me hang on to that. Let me wear that. All right, and bronzer. I'm using NARS Laguna bronzer right here. And I wanna go a little heavier on bronzer today because I'm planning on wearing my dark wig. So. I feel like I can wear a lot more makeup than I do. And now to contour the nose, just a little bit. I got my NYX contour kit and the JD Weighty Luxie 182 brush. Lower lash line, I'm gonna take the Luxie 231 favorite lower lash line brush. Should I start with stone? And then, same brush, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna go into uh, Velvet, which is the that really pretty color. It almost kinda looks like plum, I feel like, when you add it with the stone. Just do it right on top of it. And now I'm gonna take a different brush, something a little bit less dense, something less dense than that one because I'm gonna be doing even lower than that now and I don't want it to get like too crazy in my under eye area. Now I'm gonna go in with Silk, which is the last shade that we used in the top lid, this one right here. And this is a smaller blending brush, but a little bit fluffier, a Smith 230. So now we're gonna do this one just to diffuse the edges a little bit, kind of give it more of that like pinky light purple look. And then I'm gonna come in here, diffuse the edges a little bit more in this area with the silk shade. All right, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, the Morphe E36 and some stone. I wanna deepen up closer to the lash line a little bit more. Everybody always tells me to do like more, more, more on the under eye. I just, I can't do more than this. It like freaks me out when it gets, I feel like it makes my eyes look too crazy big. This is like as much as I can do smoking out into the lower lash line. I will add a little bit more velvet actually while we're here before I add the green. Okay, cool. That's great, that is where I'm drawing the line. So now I'm gonna come in uh, with the Urban Decay, the liquid shadow again, and we're gonna add it right into the center of the lower, whatever this is. Sector. Sector, vector, paint it on, and then again, just buff it out with the finger. Just keep it in the center though. What I did last time, just to add a little bit of extra dimension, obviously this is totally optional, but I took the uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner. I just like the colors in this, and I'm just gonna add like some dots just to give it a little bit of like highlights. I just feel like it gave it just a little bit of extra dimension with like the goldish silver colored glitter. All right, I'm gonna add some black into the waterline. This is my LA Girl Dairy Black. And then we're gonna set it with some black eyeshadow and just smudge a little bit into the lower lower lash line. Let's brighten up the under eyes a little bit with my Monica Dar, the C2 Warm Yellow Powder. And then finish off the eyes with some mascara. 
All right, let's do a new lip, shall we? Shall we? This is MAC Oak Lip Liner. Best lip liner on the planet. All right, and for lipstick, I'm using, I don't even think I've ever used this lipstick before. This is MAC Yosh. Yosh? Is it Yosh? Ooh. You put a little bit of sis on top. Sis. And then let's add some clear gloss. Makeup Forever Settle Zero. I really like this, their lip gloss formula, but I hate the applicator. It takes like four years to put on. All right, I actually decided to add a little bit more of the Moonstone up higher. I felt like I needed a little bit more. All right, so I just finished up my makeup. I decided to add a lot more Moonstone to the lid. I felt like it just needed to go up higher. And the more you add, it just keeps looking like better and better and better. But uh, yeah, I threw on my wig, my big fluffy wig. That's why I have the beanie. I tried to not wear this, but um, it makes my head look really, really big. So that's why I threw it on to try and compress it a little bit. But anyway, that wraps up this makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Ooh, Turbo fell back. There's so much fucking makeup in my contacts. I need a Q-tip. Cowboy, what is that noise? Are you done, Zo? Ruining my life? We did it. We did it. Woo! My fucking back hurts so bad. Some salad, I'm sorry. I have some debris from my head. Just a little. I hate doing that. And now, and next, so now I'm gonna. Just do it. Honestly, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Did I do that? Oh shit. Clam, clam, tomato, potato.